Our next scenario is going to be number seven, which is arterial air. So okay. we'll have to go ahead and set the circuit up to inject the air. Okay. So I've got our syringe with our small portion of air at the end, the stopcock on the end, so the positive pressure of the circuit doesn't push it back. And we'll hook it somewhere close to the bubble detector. And we'll see if they notice. I'll grab that when I go back to the laptop. So after you read the scenario, Melissa, I'll hit the air to go in, drop the vital signs um, when the pump shuts off. And then what actions do you think we want our participant to do? Um, well, we'd like her to recognize the bubble, recognize that there is no flow to the patient, that it is an emergency, that we need to come off ECMO, and then she'll need to communicate to the bedside nurse that we need to go to emergency settings and get additional help for the patient since we are off ECMO until she fixes the problem. You have a one-month-old with aspiration pneumonia and ARDS. Today is day seven of the ECMO run. The circuit change was one hour ago due to circuit failure. Okay, it's your first circuit. set of guesses. Thanks. All right. Um, I'm just coming on, so I'm going to do a quick circuit check. Um, I'll just check this oh, too. Oh, we have an air bubble detector alarm. Arterial air bubble. Oh no. Oh. Uh, okay. uh, are you sure that's real or, or I have an air bubble alarm right here? I think we need to come off ECMO right now. Take the patient off ECMO. I need vents, emergency okay. vents. Okay, alright, I'll put the emergency vents in. Okay. I'm gonna open the bridge so I can get this air out. We need a physician. Okay. Give us a hand. Right. Call the physician. Okay. Alright, we need a doctor in here. I'm going to recirculate and get this air out. We're going to need the code card and some extra people. Okay, we're on emergency vent settings. Okay, our heart rate's 80. Our stats are 75. We're on emergency settings. Okay, I'm checking my circuit for air. All right, we're on emergency vent I got all the air out. There's no air in the connectors. Okay, heart rate's 80. Heart ready to go back on. Okay, heart rate's 60. the problem that there was a bubble, you appropriately realized that is definitely one of the emergencies that takes us immediately off ECMO to protect the patient. Um, you did a good job communicating back to your nurse that again you are off ECMO, she needs to get help and a team dedicated to the patient to go to emergency vent settings and potentially run a code on the infant um, and then you troubleshot the circuit and got the air out.